Our second scripture reading for this morning comes from the prophet Isaiah. It's chapter 40, verse 31. Let's open our hearts, our minds, our spirit to God's word and inspiration. Isaiah writes, Those who hope in the Lord, they will renew their strength. They will soar on the wing like eagles. They will run and will not grow weary. They will walk and not grow faint. May it be so. Amen. Well, Barbara spoke earlier about roots. And deep roots produce strong trees. And then way up high in the branches of those well rooted trees so tall. In the branches there are tiny, temporary, nurturing nests where there are newborn, still wobbly winged birds, so vulnerable, so fragile. But there, above those roots so strong, in that safe place, Protected, held secure against the raging storms that may pass by. Those wobbly wings, they have time to develop, to grow, to stretch until one day that tiny little bird has the strength and has the courage and has the faith to look over the edge of that nest. Jump. And jump into an uplifting wind. So it is here in this church. That same thing happens. For here there is a nurture and a welcome. A time of rest and renewal and healing. There is time here. For roots to grow, for wings to strengthen. And some, once those wings strengthen, will stay, and God bless them. But some will take flight. So this church is unique, not only because it is like a many united nation where people from all over the world gather and come to share and grow and learn from the teacher of diversity. But this church is also unique in that the faith, the light, the love of God that is learned and made strong here in this place is then spread back out to this world on the wings, in the hearts of former members of this church. In them, the love, the Spirit of God, nurtured here in this place among you, radiates to communities in England, in the islands of Portugal, back to Peru and Venezuela and Argentina, in Martinique, in Monaco, in Boston, Los Angeles, Denver, Texas, Newtown, Connecticut, Tampa St. Pete, Montreal, Canada, and so many other places in this country and world we cannot even name. And so there is an inhale of the world's diversity, learning, and grace. There is an exhale of that spirit back into a world that needs it so much. And so it is with the spirit. Once strengthened, so often it takes wing. That same spirit is offered this morning in the sacrament of communion. In communion, God's spirit is offered to each of us. And it can lift us up and take wing in our lives and through our lives into the community at large and around the world. This morning, we celebrate communion with diverse <coughs> breads. Just like all of you, these breads, at least the recipes, have come from all around the world. 
And as we eat of them, enjoy their diversity and are nurtured by them, their blessing becomes part of us. It changes us. It strengthens us. And then through us, that spirit goes back out into the world. So as you take communion this morning, feel God's spirit lifting you, entering into you, giving you wings, making possible your most holy of dreams. And as you come forward, you will receive the spirit, the wind, and in these little baskets up front, you will receive wing. So everybody will have, let's just test it out. <laughs> Roots become wing here in this church. And as we take communion this morning, you will be able to see a video from the past year. See, as you see those pictures, See if you can see the wobbly wings of faith growing in everything and everyone here at the Church by the Sea over the last year.